One shall stand, one shall fall. Halo sahabat Sport TV, selamat datang di channel olahraga yang mengulas dan menyajikan secara informatif dan inspiratif. Newcastle, 16 Juli 1977 in United Kingdom atau Inggris adalah tempat dan waktu saat Muhammad Ali melakukan interview dalam acara televisi yang bertempat di Elden Square Newcastle. Pada sesi pertanyaan tentang Islam dan keislamannya, Muhammad Ali menjelaskan dengan sempurna dan membuat semua pemirsa terkesan dan menjadi bagian sejarah negara Inggris yang terus dikenang oleh dunia. Muhammad Ali adalah sosok yang cerdas, kecerdasannya bukan hanya dalam hal bertinju saja. Dia bisa menghibur pemirsa dengan candaan dan orasinya. Dalam penjelasannya tentang Islam dan keislamannya, Muhammad Ali menyampaikan dengan sangat cerdas. Dia menunjukkan kerendahan hatinya serta tidak menyinggung ajaran agama lain. Dia menyampaikan suatu realita kebenaran yang ada dengan santun dan jelas. Muhammad Ali adalah sosok yang karismatik dan seluruh masyarakat Inggris mengagumi dan menyayanginya bahkan melebihi dari negara Amerika yang adalah tanah kelahiran Muhammad Ali keteguhannya dalam memegang prinsip dan keyakinan menjadikan inspirasi bagi banyak masyarakat dunia dan semoga ini menjadi inspirasi bagi kita semua mari kita saksikan videonya Muhammad Ali know that very well. We have time for maybe one more question then we have a little presentation to make to you Mohammed. Look, we have right. to stick to the stick to the schedules around here because he does have other There's things the to do. There's the question right there. There's the question right there. Where is she? The pretty girl. Oh, the pretty girl. Right, okay. Um, I'm Muslim Muhammad Ali and I would like to ask you what made you change to the Islamic faith and do you keep strictly to the laws of Islam? And are you as good a Muslim as you are a boxer? Well, it's not for me. You know, the word Muslim means one who submits entirely to the will of God. One who submits entirely to the will of God. That's what Muslim means. So, I, I don't know, I cannot be the judge on how much I submit entirely to the will of God. God himself can only judge us. So I can't say how good I am and no true Muslim will brag or even will even take a chance on saying he's good or he's halfway good or not. It's up to Allah, God, to be the judge, see? So I'm not going to say one thing about uh, how good I am because I don't know. We never get good enough. I'm always striving to be right. And you ask me another question, why did I change? Because uh, I was raised a Baptist. And after touring the world, Uh, I found out that there are 600 million Muslims on the planet and all religions are good. I wrote something once, it says rivers, lakes and streams. They all have different names, but they all contain water. So does religions have different names and they all contain God and the truth, only expressed in different ways, forms and times. What Jesus taught was good. What Moses taught was right. What Buddha taught was right. What Christian taught was right. What Isaiah, Lot, Noah. God has always sent prophets to different people at different times with messages for those people. And people have decided to choose those prophets as their leader. Some follow Krishna. Some follow Buddha. Some follow Mohammed. Some follow Jesus. Some follow whoever. But Moses, all of them are right. Jesus made a statement, I have come not to destroy no law of the prophet, but to fulfill. All of God's prophets are right. You got to believe in all of them. So, if the person follow Buddha and do what Buddha said, they'll see God and believe it. If a person follow Krishna and live what he preached, he'll be good. If a person follow Moses and live like Moses preached, if they follow Jesus, they follow Lot, any of the prophets. So, I decided to take the Islamic path. The Christian path is a perfect religion if the people practice. And you have two coats, give me one. I'm hungry, you feed me. Love your enemy. Pray for those who use you. Forgive. Give charity. Don't hate. 
Christianity is a perfect religion. It's the people who don't live the religion. The religion is good, but the people do things in the name of the religion. A lot of Muslims do things they shouldn't do. A lot of Protestants, a lot of Buddhists, a lot of Hindus live like they shouldn't live. But the religion itself, the religion is right, but the people who follow religion ain't so right. So I choose to follow the Islamic path because I've never saw so much love. I never saw so many people hugging each other, kissing each other, praying five times a day, the women in the long garments, the way they would eat. You can go to any country and say, Assalamu alaikum, alaikum assalam. You got a home, you got a brother. I chose the Islamic path because it connected me. As a Christian in America, I couldn't go to the white churches. Uh, as a Christian, uh, that was for those people. It did them good. It didn't do me good. Uh, I saw Jesus Christ. I saw a white man with blonde and blue eyes. I look at the Lord's Supper in Christianity. I see all white people. You are Asiatic girl. I see a man behind you is dark. All the pictures are of angels are white. Why come we never go to heaven? Why come the Mexican don't go to heaven and fly around? Why the Puerto Rican? Every all the angels happen to be white angels. I look at Peter was white. Mary was white. Paul was white. God's son Jesus was white. Uh, everything was white. Tarzan, the king of the jungles, he was white. And the angel food cake was made white, and the devil food cake was chocolate. And if I threaten you, I'm gonna blackmail you. Black was always bad in the Western world. Uh, the black cat was the bad luck. Uh, if you get put out of a fraternity group, you get blackballed. Uh, black was always bad. So the only thing that made me feel good, the only thing that made me feel free, that connected me with Saudi Arabia, the Islamic religion, connected me with Pakistan, Morocco, Syria. I sat down with Colonel Gaddafi, had dinner in his palace, stayed overnight because of a Muslim. As a Christian, I never could sit with Christian leaders. As a Muslim, I sat with Sadat, I sat with President Nasser, uh, uh, Marcos of the Philippines, Ayu Khan of Pakistan before he died. I've been sat with kings of uh, Sheikh Zayed of Abu Dhabi. Kings and people of these nations have welcomed me as a brother and I'm a citizen. And now in America, I'm respected by all colors and throughout the world as a Muslim. See, the name Mohammed is the most common name in the world. There are more Mohammeds on the planet there are four billion people on earth and every third person is a Muslim. So for me, I'm not condemning no other religion, but for me, being a world figure, John taking the name Muhammad Ali, which is the name of my people for the brother America, accepting the Islamic religion, it was better for me. Where another person, Shintoism, Buddhism, uh, 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 Christianity, Baptist, Catholic, Protestant, Jewish, that might fit another man. But you can choose any religion you want. If you believe it, you'll see God because all of them are good. So I chose the Islamic religion. That's why I chose it. Muhammad. Muhammad. Uh, now, after I'm through boxing, after I'm through boxing I would like to be a minister. Don't you think I preach pretty good? Very good. Don't I make it plain? Yes. Don't you understand now? You asked me, you asked me some pretty, you asked me some pretty tough questions, but didn't I make a lot of sense? I didn't, but, I didn't make the Christians hate me. I didn't make the Protestants hate me. I didn't make the Catholics hate me. I told you the truth. I said all of them are good if they live it. It's just the people who don't live it. So I chose the Islamic path. That's a, religion is a touchy thing. Religion. Very few people can see. I, some people, you sound a Muslim, don't want to hear you. Some people, you sound a Protestant, pow, pow. You say I'm a Catholic, pow, pow. All of them are right. All of them are from God. All of them are good and teach good. It's just the people and the titles that make you prejudiced. But all of them got the same. It says one God, but there are many roads to that God. You understand? This is the power of this. You see me do this, you call me the greatest. That's because I'm more religious than I am physical, and I study a lot. And you may be surprised if you hear me talk because you never heard me talk this way. But I know about, I got about 45 lectures that I memorized in my ministry. And I can tell you something about all the religious books, all the religions, because I'm a strong believer in God and humanity. That's why I'm helping these boys. That's why God blesses me to be so great here. Because all the time I've been here, I've been talking about God, pushing God, pushing religion. I'm not talking about me, how great I am, how much money I got. I'm always giving the praise to God. So that's why I'm as great as I am in this physical world, because I push him first. 
Well, Mohammed, we're running out of time now. When I, I finish by saying I wouldn't presume to be your judge, but I know you know you pretty well, and I judge I judge you as a pretty good fellow, and I think we all would agree with that. Thank you. And I we. We have a little presentation for you to take home to your wife and daughter, if you would. Yeah, I'm coming. We're actually finishing the show now. Could you ask the question when I... You know who he is? Yeah, he's the boss. He's the boss. Could, could we bring on the presentation, please? Would you like your sister-in-law to take these for you? The, the shaggy dog is for Hannah, your daughter. My daughter! And the bouquet. Oh.